Just under eight laps to go now on the 10,000 meters, and there's a group rolling away. Nine of them. And Roberto, the reigning champion, in front from Portugal. Barcelos, the Kenyan, is in second place. Chiba of China is third. Looks like a Deary of Ethiopia, five. Then Yang of China. The Roop of Kenya. Run of China. And on the outside is the South African, who's now dropped to the back of that group, 551 five, Daruk. Well, there's no trouble in the leading bunch, but one or two problems behind. Alana Meyer retired three years ago because she got a bump. And look, she's got another one now. That's Alana Meyer. I must say, world championships don't have happy memories for her. They certainly don't for Alana Meyer, but she's not very good at running groups of athletes. She was brought up in South Africa where she's done all of her racing. She's always been able to run fast races from the front. She's the fastest in, this, uh, in the all-time list of this whole field, but she's never been comfortable in a group of athletes, which is why I don't understand why she allows herself to get inside a group. I don't know why she never runs at the back of the field or at the front of the field. Both places she's comfortable and free of trouble, but Ribeiro has no such trouble. She's a tough, strong athlete. So Ribeiro leads from Adiri of Ethiopia, then Sally Barsocio on the inside from Kenya, and then Tekla Larup of Kenya. So and then place, Run and, and Yang of China and Chiba of Japan and Colleen de Roik, the other South African, at the back of that group. So there's two Chinese, two Kenyans, one Ethiopian, one Japanese, one South African, and the Portuguese leader, Fernando Ribeiro. And the pace is beginning to pick up slightly. They've begun lapping at 75 seconds per lap now, 74 seconds. So they are now injecting pace. And it looks to me as though the second part of this race is going to be quite a substantial amount faster than the first part of the race. Meyer's up and running again, but it's really a waste of time. I'm not quite sure whether she's entered in the marathon as well. I presume, actually, the fact she's going on here, the answer to that is no. There's some very big names in the groups behind, like way behind. And Wami of Ethiopia, one of the fancied athletes, has dropped out. Well, the South African to Rock is uh, in a bit of trouble, We're trying to get, work our way back. Ribeiro leads, Barsocio second, Adiri third, then Larup, the Kenyan, twice a winner of the New York Marathon. In fact, she won the New York Marathon on her first ever marathon race. Behind her is Chiba of Japan, then Yang of China, Run of China, and struggling now, the Rook of South Africa. Well, the laps now are increasing in pace. 74 seconds for that lap. They started off running 78, 77 second laps, but now Fernanda Ribeiro. This race, she probably would have preferred it to be absolutely like this. She almost thinks you scripted it because the first 5,000 meters relatively slow 16 12 for the first 5,000 meters that's comfortable distance running for these women and then gradual application of pace nothing severe nobody's done anything special and a dairy outsider has put been in the right position all the way Sally Barsocio who drifts off a straight line which causes lots of trouble I know Sally Barsocio doesn't enjoy doing that and she doesn't do it deliberately but she does move off a true straight line and bump into other athletes and then Tekla Larup the marathon runner always been moving through gradually Chiba tried to inject some pace earlier on wasn't able to do anything and the two Chinese at the back well they're not as strong as the previous contingent of Chinese athletes we've seen but I wonder if they've got any pace in the later stages but Fernanda Ribeira as she leads here another strong lap here let's just see the time there another 74 second lap so she is doing what I suspected she was doing gradually increasing the tempo Ribeiro, the defending champion, this title won in previous years. It was first introduced to the program in 87. Ingrid Christensen won it then for Norway. In 91, Liz McColgan for Great Britain. In 1993, Wang Xia for China. 
she is a world record holder. And, uh, of course, last time it was Ribeiro, who was now in second place. Barcesio with the flying elbows. They're like knitting needles. <laughs> well, that's, that's exactly right, but it's good for this race that she's actually in the lead because then she's free of any trouble. She can't cause any problems around her. The other athletes just have to steer a wide berth when they go past Sally Barcelosio if they choose to do so. As I said that, Fernando Ribeiro was tripped a little there by the other Kenyan, Tekla Laroop, and Adiri on the inside where she's been most of the time, and then Chiba of Japan, and these five beginning to stretch the Chinese. The first Chinese, Yang, has gone off the back of the group, and now the race is down to four or five of these athletes. But let's just check this lap. It looks to be a little bit faster this time from Sally Barcelosio. That's the fastest lap of the whole race, a 71-second lap, and now it's beginning to hurt with three laps remaining. The leader's reduced to six. Be the bar two meters twelve. Well, Barcelosio, you, you can see how she was uh, disqualified uh, four years ago in this race, when she was only 15, and then reinstated in third place. Well, she was running in a bunch, and athletes were getting knocked all over the place. It was just uh, the natural way she runs. Well, she was only 15 then, and she's going away from the champion. Right there, and make no attempt to go with her, or just possibly can't. Chiba in third place. And this is, a, well, it could be the decisive break. And this is how the Kenyan men run. They've been, she's injected substantial pace on this lap. She's really exploded. The fastest lap of the race was the, the previous lap, which was 71 seconds. But I would guess that this is even faster than that. And Fernando Ribeira needs to maintain her control as Sally Barsocio comes through there. And that lap... 67, well that's by far five seconds faster than the, any previous lap. Well, the question is, Ribeiro, can she keep the control and does, does Sally Barsocio have the strength to maintain this level of pace? But this is the first time we've seen a female Kenyan athlete run in the same style as the Kenyan men run. And I wonder whether this experiment is gonna work. The experiment will work, unless she falls. Up to 600 meters left. And the gap now is 40 to 50 meters. Ribeiro second, Chiba uh, China third, Adiri Ethiopia five. Chiba, by the way, is Jap Japanese, not Chinese. The Chinese actually has lost a little bit of touch. She's back at about fifth place. Of Chiba now closing on Ribeiro and Barcelosio looks stronger and stronger. She's about to lap three athletes as she comes to the bell. Just 400 meters left and Barcelosio now looks like the new world champion. First time this title has gone to a Kenyan. The break she made was quite emphatic. She knew exactly what she could do. It's always difficult to judge when to make an early break, whether you can sustain that break, but uh, she's no doubt, and she's gone for it, and it's going to be the gold medal for her. Chiba in second place of China. A lot of Meyer being lapped. Ribeiro now the champion coming through with... It's actually Chiba there. That was a lap runner I was looking at before, one of the Chinese. And Barcelosio looks back, and she can now enjoy the moment of victory as she looks down the straight without any danger at all. The championship finishing line in sight, and she's still increasing pace. Barcelosio, still only 19, takes the world 10,000 meter title. And the champion, ex-champion now, Ribeiro finishes second. Chiba finishes third. Then Adiri of Ethiopia it will be. Followed by Rudin of China. Uh, of, uh, yes, of China. Oh, we'll get that right at the moment. It's run of Japan. Next is Laroop, followed by Yang of Japan, and then the Rook of South Africa. Well, that was an outstanding performance by Sally Barsocio, who's now being held back to her feet. But that race is, as we were 
talking about during the race. She ran the first 5,000 meters in 16.12 and the second 5,000 meters in an outstanding 15 minutes and 20 seconds. So the Kenyan, she's, this is the first Kenyan female athlete to win a world or Olympic gold medal. And the only thing you can say for certain about that, it won't be the last. So they're gonna now start to dominate female distance running like they've been dominating male distance running over the last five or six years. And I wonder, she is the first, and I wonder where the next ones are gonna come from. What an outstanding performance by Sally Barsocio. And to use a Kenyan male tactic of bursting in the middle of the race is exactly what we always thought they were able to do. And Sally Barsocio now becoming the first Kenyan a female athlete. But look how strong she was. Look how fantastically fast she finished. And when she collapsed over the line, well, she deserved a little bit of help. What a performance by the Kenyan. And uh, the time, 29.13. Not 29.13, actually the clock's uh, just been changed. Let's check on the time, but it's a new world junior record. And the time, 31.32 and, and fractions. She's no stranger to winning gold medals, by the way. She's got five individual and world cross-country team medals. Oh, well, there's no question of obstruction here. She was warm for four years ago. But her arms very, very wide. But it's a very effective action. Above all, she knew exactly what she was doing. <laughs> 